Today's episode will include Bulldog football advances to Class AA state semifinals. Robotics teams begin season. Thanks for tuning in to BNC TV, your best source for Bulldog news. Hi, I'm Jacob Bertram, and welcome back to Episode 6 of this school year. Bulldog football team is currently 9-2 with an outstanding 52-14 win against Pillager last Friday. The Dogs will advance to the state semifinals to play against Caledonia at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis this Thursday. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. Here are some of the players to talk more about the game. This quarter, Painesville up 8-0. Tucker Peterson takes a handoff up the gut that bounces outside and scampers 26 yards for the score. Two-point conversion is good. Game tied at 8. The Bulldogs' bite was too much, however. Grady Fuchs takes a handoff inside and hits Pater from four yards out at another two, and it's 16-8. to eight. Third quarter now, Dalton Christensen spins out of one tackle, slips out of another one, and it doesn't stop. He goes all the way for the score. Five different players score for Painesville as they rob Pillager, 52 to 14. This is a special interview for today's episode. Max Weiner to talk about the last game and his injury. I mean, last game went really well for us. We were able to run the ball however we wanted, and after the first drive, we were able to stop them on defense just about every time the rest of the game. Um, I was playing until about four minutes left in the second quarter, and I got tackled from behind and just kind of landed wrong on my foot and ended up dislocating my ankle and breaking my fibula. First down to 10. This is Widener, and he is brought down near that line of scrimmage. But after that, the guys came out a little slow, but then after halftime, they got it in gear and they took care of business in a very good way. Feel when Spence tried to put your shoe back on? <laughs> um, you know, obviously it didn't feel too good right away at the beginning. Um, it would. It wasn't awful. I mean, I wouldn't say it helped, but it was it was manageable. It was about the same pain I had been experiencing throughout the rest of the night. So, I mean, he was just trying to help. That's just how Spence is. He's a great teammate and just wants to help in any way he can. So, I'm not going to hold anything against him. <laughs> Tackled. Uh, what was going through your mind? Um, well, obviously, I knew the pain was really bad, and then I saw that when my foot was up in the air, it just wasn't facing the right way it should be. It was kind of facing outward more than I thought it probably should be, and right there I knew something was broken, dislocated. I knew it was probably the end of my season, so it was tough, but you just got to get through it. So how do you feel about the next game playing against Caledonia again? I mean, it'll be great to play them again. Obviously, it's the best competition we can face. They've dominated 2A for so many years, but someone's got to take them over. And we got some experience against them last year. Obviously, it didn't go the way we wanted, but I feel like our team has only come back stronger, and I really think we can take it to them this year. So what is your uh, final message for the team? Just go out there and play like you have been all year. We've, we've got a hell of a team out there. We've got the best offensive line around. We've got great playmakers on offense and defense. Our defense has stepped it up incredibly in the playoffs, and I know we definitely have the talent to get it done on Thursday. I'd say we just want to go out there and prove what we've worked for all year, just play our best and have a good time out there on the wonderful field. We've, we've worked hard all season, last year even. Coming back, round two against Caledonia. We're looking to take it to them. It's just, it's special. It's really, truly a good experience. Just the venue and everything and all the fans. We know they'll be loud and supporting us. So yeah, we can't wait for it. It's a one in a lifetime experience and not many kids get to experience it. Not only once, but twice, um, which is going to be exciting. And uh, you know, maybe that first time we were a little shell shocked by the whole experience. This time we're ready to roll. So how does it feel to play at U.S. Bank Stadium for the second year in a row? It's pretty cool because last year it was more of a, when we got out there, we're like super amazed and didn't actually focus on the game as much, I don't think. But now that we were there, if we're there the second time, we're able to focus on the game and take it all in hopefully after we get the win. I think it'll be an advantage for us to play there for a second time because we won't be distracted by all the amazing benefits. I don't know. 
now one of our main motivations is to hopefully win because we want to do it for Max Widener because he, he's not able to play anymore because of the injury. So we're going to try and live out his dream for him out there. So come out to the bank and support us. And be loud. <laughs> the high school robotics team recently started their season. Ellery has more for us now. Hi, I'm here with the high school robotics coach, Mr. Thompson. And I'm here with the pain throwers. This is our second year of being with the VEX group. And we have been uh, working at this for about a month or so now. Uh, we've gone up to two league nights. We usually meet on Thursday nights up at uh, St. Cloud Technical College. And then uh, this weekend, coming weekend, we go to Albany for a, our first contest. And uh, it's usually an all day affair. And we usually uh, work on a field like this. If you can see what we're doing. And we'll have these guys tell you how it all works. Uh, but it is a VEX robotics team. Uh, there are other ones in the state, like BEST and FIRST, but this has seemed to work real well. If you can look around a little bit, we can see we're in a new room this year. Uh, we're in our own robotics room. So uh, should I start off with Jason telling us a little bit about the field? Here's Jason Heft. Yeah, so we play in this field. Um, it has eight caps on it and there's a blue side and a red side, and a cap on the ground on your color is worth one point, and on a pedestal is worth two points, and there's also a bunch of balls on the field, and you're used, able to use those to shoot a ball and hit a flag and spin it, and if the flag is on your color, the bottom one is worth one point, and the top two are worth two points, which can only be triggered by balls. So, yeah, and then there's also a pedestal in the middle, the two side ones are worth well, a couple points, and the top middle one is worth six points, and the bots are allowed to battle for the top position to have the extra points. Kind of a king of the hill type of thing. It isn't about the field itself necessarily, because people walk in and they're like, oh, well, you're just flipping over movables and stuff, and then you realize like the design and the programming and everything behind it, and then you realize that it's more than just the arena and just the game, so. Tell us about autonomous mode a little bit. Can you, how much of the game is autonomous? Sure, so in the beginning of the game, there's probably 15 seconds mm -hmm. in the beginning of what they call autonomous, which means that instead of us driving the robots around, we have set up a certain line of commands for the robots to do on their own. And um, some examples could be that they would go and knock over, knock out some of these balls, or one could go pick up one of these cones and place it right on top of a Pedestal, but one of the most common ones we've seen so far is for a robot to push a flag back um, and the bottom one, push the bottom flag back. That's the only flag that, as Mr. Thompson was saying, can be triggered um, by the robot. Or and we've seen them shoot too, they've tried to. And if you can see on this robot, it's got a little ball picker upper. Go ahead, show how it goes in there. Yeah, sure. So, Do we have power to this how, one? Uh, how it's in theory supposed to work is this motor would spin out, robot backs up into it, catches up a ball, and um, these would spin, effectively shooting the ball at, I don't know, what a 45 degree angle up, straight up. And it's uh, it's been working pretty good so far. The only difficulty we've had with it is to be able to properly aim it. But we're working on that. I'm here with Megan Bengston, and she has just attained six points up on the, this is the king of the hill. And there she is with a little robot, was able to get up there. And she and Bella, Lyndecker, and Lucas, good, wave out here. <laughs> and we got Ryan McDowell who's joined us this year. So they are on this team, and you guys are the Robros, I believe. Yep. <laughs> okay. And they can flip over little pieces. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit here. There we go. So if she can turn it over, it becomes a point for the blue team. And she's got a little license plate on there that says she's on the blue team. Okay. Um, you've seen our smaller robot. This one's gonna be our final uh, design. Right now we're gonna put a bucket on it and it's gonna lift up and we're, we can use it to flip, but also there's these big yellow balls. And what you can use them for is to hit, hit the flag so you can get your points. Okay. And it's gonna go back I'm just going to go into our shooter, which is going to shoot it, and that way we can get more points because they are worth more. 
Okay. Well, that looks good. And how much do you get by uh, landing up in the middle there? Um, I'm pretty sure it's six. So yep, I think so. Six points, and right now we've managed to do it with the little one, but with this bigger robot, I think we'll be able to do it a lot faster just by being able to walk right up it. Okay, so. all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Stay cool, Painzel, and go Bulldogs. Hi, I'm Jacob Bertram, and welcome back to episode six. Hi, I'm Jacob Bertram, and welcome back. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm so bad at interviews. Let's go to the next game. <laughs> uh,